A Boeing state has been known before 2015 as one of the backward states in Nigeria. This owes to the state of infrastructure, social and economic conditions, educational level and perceived status in the committee of state. Today, the story has changed. A Boeing has overtaken many states in every aspect. This turnaround became significant with the inception of the administration of engineer David Mweze Omahi, a man with a vision to rewrite the toga of backwardness hitherto won by a Boeing state. This celebration of transformation is directly linked to a man that came with a track record of excellence, having been a state party chairman, deputy governor, and having traversed the state and knows where it pinches the people. It is linked to a man that made mind-blowing promises during his inauguration, which people thought were mere promises, as is associated with politicians in the third world countries, but came to be a promise of a visionary and God-fearing leader of inestimable value, who is not a politician as seen in developing countries, but a gifted leader whose mission is to lift his people from poverty to prosperity. Governor David Weze Omahi proved to be different as it wasn't long after his inauguration that people began to see in him a man who deployed his ingenuity and professional skills to carve a niche for himself and make a great difference that sends heartwarming signals to the world that Nigeria can be great after all. His actions, policies, programs, and projects have now rewritten the sad history of this geographical area called a Boeing State. Today, the state towers in the committee of state in every aspect. We are determined to form a government brimming with creative ideas and innovative energy. A government that is lean, mobile, and effective. A government that will make the people aspiration at the point of their need. A government that will listen and absorb the wisdom and counsel that will come from all citizens, young and old. We shall strive with our mightiest effort to give meaning to the concept of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. He's very methodical. He's going step by step, remi reminding himself, remembering what he has said and what he's going to do, and he does them. He's broad road. Have you seen the road? Have you seen anything so thick? Here we are, and we're seeing real infrastructure. But thank God we have a governor who knows better. And he's bringing such roads now, which will last more than 100 years. In Nigeria today, I'm a nationalist. I've gone around, including my friends, somebody like Tambu Adam. They're not doing half of what my governor is doing. And in Nigeria today, I think he is ranking first. I came here last 19, yeah, 2000. About 17 years ago, the place changed. From anywhere, everywhere changed. Change, the cleanness, orderliness, truth. Yeah, the governor is very happy that we are doing what we are sent here to do. Have you seen what is happening in the United States? My heart is shocking. <laughs> I congratulated him for what he is doing. As he's rising up, he's coming forward. We respect him with all his knowledge and wisdom. And what he has performed in our clinic in, in a good state. We expect someone like him to be there. He has rebuilt a boy, as he promised. Then he maintained another wonderful pace, pace of peace. In Ebony, we do not say you come from uh, north, you come from central, you come from south. No. We know ourselves as Ebonians. That is a wonderful achievement. I fulfill so many promises made for us because he have already renovated the Ebony state to be in a high grade. So he's a man of work. Uh, he has already opened the eyes of Ebonians and they have seen something which I have never seen before. So we promise that we shall support him. One of the areas the governor has changed Eboin State greatly 
is the rating of the state in fiscal performance by budget office. That is a public data science organization that uses tech tools to simplify the budget and matters of public spending for citizens with the primary aim of raising standard of transparency and accountability in government. Budget also engage in fiscal analysis with ratings of the sub-nationals and federal government. After the assessment of how the 36 states of the Federation generate funds through IGR, that and what they receive from statutory federal allocation, as well as how those receipts are used in the payment of salaries and other operating expenditures in 2021, a Boeing state took a quantum leap in fiscal performance and ranked second in overall performance. This most recent report and ranking assessment covered four major areas in the overall ranking. On the first level of assessment of states with greater viability and that are comparatively less dependent on federally distributed revenue for their operations, a Boeing state ranked fourth in Nigeria. This shows that a Boeing state is on the path of economic prosperity. This rating is made possible by his policy direction, fiscal responsibility, transparency, accountability, and deep sense of responsibility in the allocation of scarce resources to execute projects that impact on the economy of the state. The international market built for the market men and women, the shopping mall built for the corporate business men and women, the University of Medical Sciences, which is a world-class academic cum healthcare delivery institution, the numerous agro-industries, the international airport that will be one of the three biggest in Nigeria, the network of concrete roads and twin flyovers, and the beautiful environment created for creative industries. The empowerment and education programs, among others, are leading examples of life-touching programs that count for the state. On the second level of assessment, first and second, a Boeing state ranked first in the state's ability to cover all operating expenses and loan repayment obligations without resorting to borrowing. Ranking high in this aspect means a Boeing state has comparatively more public revenue left to invest in capital infrastructure after fulfilling repayment obligations to lenders and government operating expenses. This no wonder has been seen in many projects that litter the state. A Boeing State Governor, Engineer David Mweze Umahi, has shown remarkable commitment in this regard. A Boeing State under him has seen the advent of about 14 epoch-making twin flyover bridges across the state. There is the Akonibium Junction flyover, the Dr. Ofianwale flyover, the International Market flyover, Prince Arthur Eze flyover, Umekumeni twin flyover, Umunaga Uburu flyover, King David University flyover, the Iyere Edda flyover, among many others. These are aesthetically designed to throw off traffic and accidents on the roads, and these shall attract industrialization, enhance transportation of goods and services, attract investors in tourism, creative industry, agriculture, and solid mineral development. The Iyere twin flyover in Edda, when completed, will remain a marvel and beauty to behold, just like the President Mohamed Buhari four-way light tunnel, which is second to none in Africa and is symbolically the new face of a Boeing state, having four-way links to the major facilities of the state, including the Africa's biggest shopping mall, the Christian Ecumenical Center, the Margaret Omahi International Market, Africa's biggest water fountain underneath, New State Secretariat, International Airport, among others. There are also roads constructions which are too numerous to mention, including Afibo, 
Uburu and Onweke Township Roads, Okwe Nzerem Road, Amasiri Okbosi Uburu Road, Oshiri Isu Uburu Road, Agba Road, Hilltop Mwofe Road with its Abia Bridge, Isheke Mwiboko Obodo Road, Ezambo Mbo Efyom Road, Abiaji Road, and Ukwachi Oshewe Road, and Kalago Road, Funai Road, Amasiri Eda Road, Ezogo Ewailechi Road, Internal Roads Afibo, Ntezi Agba Isu Road, Okbosi Odege Road, Atude Odogo Oyavia Mpo Road, Owutu Amibo Road, at least 25 kilometers of road in all the local government areas of the state. Dualization of Amasiri Junction to Owana Roundabout. Dualization of Amasiri Afikwa Road. Dualization of My 50 Isheke Road Project. Dualization of Abakliki Afikwa Road. Dualization of Abakliki Inugu Federal Highway. The third level of assessment of the 36 states of the Federation placed Ebony State fourth in budget ranking and shows that the state has much fiscal room to borrow more because of being financially prudent and because of having sustainable economy. Despite this, the government of engineer David Mweze Omahi has not gone on borrowing spray but has managed resources within its reach to build the aesthetically designed Ebony Shopping Mall and Government House, Esco Chambers, Governor's Lodge, Governor's Office, and Presidential Lodge. Formidable streetlights across the various local government areas and the metropolis and satellite towns, the industrial clusters, different health institutions, and education facilities – the 189-kilometer ring road across eight local government areas that is ongoing. The new MAP ecological projects are all funded by the state government to boost trade and agriculture in the state. A visit to these facilities will convince you that Governor Mahi is a gift to our nation. That prudent management of resources also saw the construction of the first-of-its-kind virology center in Abakliki and a new surgical ward complex, an accident emergency unit by the governor and donated to Alex Ekweme Federal University Teaching Hospital, Abakliki. The School of Nursing and Midwifery, Uburu, the Silicon Valley, the Vocational College, just to mention but a few. In the fourth level of assessment, Ebony State, again, ranked first among states that prioritize capital expenditure. States that rank higher in this level of assessment give comparatively higher priority to investing in capital expenditure compared to operating expenses. This feat of first among the 36 states of the Federation in investment in capital projects is undoubtedly a product of great vision to create legacies that will trigger job creation, wealth creation, and enhance robust economic development. Let me congratulate His Excellency the Governor uh, for a job well done. This mature collaboration at all times with the federal government and his leadership, which is very important, not just in the southeast, but in the entire nation. I'm encouraged by the number of outstanding MSMEs and individuals based on what I've seen from the creative and passionate small businesses. I'm confident that the rapid economic transformation of a modern state and indeed Nigeria is imminent. There's no local government you go to that you don't have a very solid job that is going on there. Some are completed. You understand? And again, if you come to Nkalago now, from Nkalago to Niger, same road, that for donkey years, for donkey years, nobody has done it. The road there now is, is a concrete road. Let's continue to support this governor. Let's continue to pray for him. He's, uh, he's up to task. He's up to speed and he commits his energy and the intellect to his work. And uh, I, I think, again, I can only say I'm proud. And um, I want to believe that uh, an average Ebonian is 
is very pleased. I'm very proud to be one. Governor of Ebony State combines his engineering acumen, his sense of frugality and economy, his continuous general social relationship, which has a capacity for making you to subdue your profit motive in order to just admire a man who is anxious to make a difference within so short a time. You bring the blockbusters of around the world to Abakaliki, the first cineplex in Abakaliki. We're proud to be there. We're proud to be the ones here. I have found everything I need in this place. I have worked very closely with them. I have a young man so dedicated, so committed, so intelligent to his cause that, that, uh, that uh, 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 my I call you the Grand Commander of Transformation. The Akubaroa Buruburu. We pray that we in NECO will enjoy this with you at the national level. Human capital development in Ebony State, I think, is the best all over this nation. All these infrastructures you are talking about, it's not by China. It's not built by Germans. It's built by Ebony State indigenous. Ebony State is acquiring the capacity to take the Nigerian engineering to the highest level. Today in governance history, Ebony State has beaten the record as having the first governor in Nigeria to invent road construction with concrete pavement of which he adopted in virtually all his road construction works that made a Boeing state to be a global village with comprehensive network of roads. The governor of the state with the highest number of flyovers after Lagos and Abuja, having built about 14 twin flyovers with beautiful aesthetic facilities. The governor of the state with Africa's biggest shopping mall also described as the microcosm of the macrocosm of the Dubai Mall. The governor of the state with Africa's biggest university of medical sciences with a center of excellence for the treatment of heart diseases, liver and cancer problems. The governor of the state with Africa's biggest light tunnel named after President Muhammadu Buhari with Africa's biggest water fountain underneath. The governor of the state with Africa's biggest ecumenical center with world-class facilities. The governor of the state with the biggest rice milling plant in Nigeria with a total of 32 metric ton capacity per hour rice milling plant and 38 metric ton capacity per hour per boiling plant owned by the state government and over 150,000 number individually owned rice milling plants. The governor of the fastest developing state in Nigeria. The governor of the state with streetlights that shine 12 hours daily, performing optimally at the state capital, the satellite towns, and also in each of the 13 local government areas. The governor of the state with the smoothest road network in Nigeria, after Abuja and Lagos. The governor of the state with the biggest fertilizer company in the southeast and south-south, having 80 metric ton capacity per hour plant. The governor of the state that built the most amazing and sustainable fountain in the southeast, 12 in number at strategic locations. The first governor in Nigeria to procure land development equipment, 13 number V8 bulldozers, for land development and agricultural mechanization. The governor of the state with the best stadium ever built by a recent state administration in the southeast and has ambition to construct one of the best in Nigeria. The governor of the state that is building the biggest international airport after Lagos and Abuja, sitting on 4 by 4 kilometer land and 3.5-kilometer runway. 
the governor of the state with the biggest mushroom farm in Nigeria. The first governor in Nigeria to introduce one man, one hectare agricultural policy for public office holders, civil servants, and farmers who participate in the state government agricultural programs. The governor of the state with the highest empowerment profile in Nigeria, with over 4,000 widows receiving 100,000 naira grants. 3,000 youths and women receiving 750,000 naira grants, 400 tricycle grants to youths and women, 520 Eboyans in Lagos receiving 1.3 million naira grants, 5,008 clergy and pastors receiving 5.8 million naira grants, 403 wives of security agencies receiving 80 million 600,000 naira grant, or to go into entrepreneurial program. The governor of the state with the biggest state pulverization machine in Nigeria with 200 empty tons capacity per day. The governor of the state with the biggest and best Lassa fever and virologist center in the country and the only one in the southeast and most medically equipped VVF center in the southeast. The governor of the state with the biggest single international market in the southeast. The governor of the state with the neatest and most beautiful capital city in southeast. The governor of the state with the fastest growing economy in the southeast. It is worthy of note that besides coming second in the overall ranking of the 36 states in the current budget ratings, Eboyi came first in both prudent use of public resources and investment in capital projects and third in well-controlled borrowing and investing towards self-reliance. Today, in governance history, Eboyi State, when placed side by side with its contemporaries, has unprecedented achievements in infrastructure, human capital, best practice in governance, in all spheres of life, performance index, which has been in favor of Eboyi State since the governor came on board in 2015. The governor has attained a world record in leadership within the shortest record of time. These galaxies of projects in both social and economic sectors have attracted many more commendations by individuals and corporate bodies. For instance, the NUC adjudged Eboyi as the state that has the local government area in Nigeria that produced the highest number of undergraduates admitted into the university system in Nigeria in year 2017. The fourth best in investment towards self-reliance road to state viability. Above average in maternal mortality ratio, 2018 World Bank State of State Health Index. One of the 10 best states in economic development performance, Philips Performance Index of the year 2020. One of the five best states in Nigeria, 2020 State Fiscal Sustainability Index. One of the largest producers of rice in Nigeria in the year 2021, Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment. The second best in empowerment and job creation in Southeast, National Bureau of Statistics in 2020. Prominent Nigerians have, have spoken about his amazing achievement and described the governor in many glowing terms. Some have even gone to the extent of declaring that he is the best hand to drive the leadership of this country as president come 2023. The question is, what is the secret behind the rare success? Is it possible that a leader in Africa can change the narratives of his people within so short a time? Transforming a state from a glorified village to a smart city of global reckoning, beating all records in creation of network of good roads, having highest number of flyovers after Lagos and Abuja. Building Africa's most beautiful government house within three years, 
building a world-class University of Medical Sciences, state-of-the-art shopping mall, Christian Ecumenical Center, Virology Center, International Market, New Government House, International Airport, having a 80 metric ton per hour fertilizer blending plant, 32 MT per hour rice milling plant, and 36 MT per hour per boiling plant. Established 200 metric tons per day recycling plant and numerous empowerment and welfare programs are great achievements that have put a Boeing state on the world map. A man who did all these, especially in this turbulent economic and social situation in Nigeria, deserves to be studied as he is a phenomenal and great institution that shall be referenced in our leadership expositions. Governor Mahi is a man of extraordinary leadership ability whose passion to give his people the best is unequaled. Prudence is his watchword. He is a creative leader who goes extra mile to achieve his goals. He is a God-fearing leader who keeps his promises. He is a man with three E's of leadership, education, exposure, and experience. This is best illustrated in the various actions he has taken as a governor of a born state since 2015. He thinks about our future and how to make us the best in everything. The assessment of budget office presented a clear indication of the disciplined approach of the state government led by a visionary and pragmatic governor, Engineer David Wese Omahi, towards acceptable fiscal policy in the nation. According to the current report, Ebony is a new entrant showing that the engineer David Omahi-led administration has excelled in the wise management of the state's limited resources. The state has also prioritized capital project implementation since 2015, knowing well that it is the foundation for development, attraction of foreign investment, job and wealth creation, and growing enterprises. Leadership is all about vision. While some leaders think of today, others think and plan for the tomorrow of the people they are leading. Engineer David Mweze Omahe is building an Eboing state of tomorrow. Leadership is all about vision. While some leaders think of today, others Think and plan for the tomorrow of the people they are leading. Engineer David Mweze Omahi is building an a state of tomorrow.